Okay, so this video will be on RNA interference. RNA interference. So this is much more a master's level knowledge, but um, master students level knowledge. But if you're here for the MCAT, you can just get the main points and that would be fine. To start with, as you know, the central dogma is that you have DNA, which goes to RNA, which makes all the proteins that you see. So what RNA interference is that it interferes with this step of the central dogma, the RNA part. So what this does is that it silences the RNA so you don't have proteins made, okay? And this is really useful for when you have a certain gene that is making proteins that is correlated with a certain type of cancer or a certain type of disorder, kidney disorder or anything. So this can be theory, this can be useful in many of those fields. Um, so let's get to how it actually does this. Um, so suppose you have a cell. Looks like this is a big cell. And um, what happens, and this is the cell membrane. So this is just the mechanism on how this occurs, okay? So first you have this thing called a double-stranded RNA molecule, sorry, double-stranded RNA molecule, or we'll just say DSRNA. And what that does is that it passes the membrane and it gets into the cell's cytoplasm. And the first thing that happens when these dsRNA or double stranded RNA gets into the cell is that the first step is that it gets automatically cleaved by a ribonuclease known as dicer, dicer 2. And this is a ribonuclease. No, N U C L E A S E. So, what nuclease, anything that has an ACE, usually means it's cutting something, it's a protein, so it cuts, it cleaves this giant RNA molecule. So, suppose if the DS strand was this dicer will cleave these into. smaller strands of these. And after it's cleaved, it's not known as a double-stranded RNA. Then these small segments are SI RNA or small interfering RNAs or SI RNAs. So just to review, you have this double-stranded RNA, that, or the dsRNA, that comes into the cell, it gets cleaved by dicer 2, which is a ribonucleases, and you have many of these small interfering RNA molecules. And these are usually around 21 to 25 nucleotides wrong. So these are really tiny particles. And what, and what happens next is that these SI, siRNAs actually assemble with a protein component called so well, let's just write the protein component. So the second one is these siRNAs coupled with, it's called an RISC risk or an RNA induced silencing complex. So RNA induced, that means it gets induced by, or it interacts with these SI RNAs and it silences the mRNA. So what happens is that these SI RNAs will interact with this risk protein. So we'll just say this was step one, the cleaving. Step two is these SI RNAs interact with RIS risk proteins. And suppose this is the SI RNA that you have. And what this does is that it goes and interacts with the mRNA. Now this mRNA is just the mRNA that's in the central dogma, the RNA, that's, that was transcribed. So this, this mRNA is actually going on to produce a protein. 
but if you have an SI RNA interacted with the risk proteins, this will complementary bind bind to the mRNA. That this could be for anything. And what happens is that it cleaves, whenever this interaction occurs, it cleaves the mRNA into two pieces. So mRNA and mRNA. Um, and that is what, and this cleaving actually just gets rid of all functionality of the M M mRNA. So it's cleaved. So if this mRNA becomes cleaved, you can't go on to translate the mRNA to make proteins. So this is the basic mechanism on how this functions. Now, let's just go through it one more time just so you understand. You have this double-stranded RNA come into the cell, then you have this dicer 2 nucleus, which cleaves this double-stranded RNA into many small interfering RNA molecules. These small interfering RNA molecules, or SI RNAs, interact with this RNA-induced cytosine complex. And once they interact, this goes and interact with the mRNA, which is which got transcribed, and will, and if it's not cleaved, will go and make proteins. But once it interacts, this mRNA will be cleaved, and so no protein will be made. So this is how you get genetic genetic silencing, genetic.